What we used to have is you would have some central party decisions, but now you have a pack that'll show up on day one and they'll, they'll come out with a particular message that's crazy, that paints the Republican Party as sexist, as racist, as anti-youth, as bigots, uh, as anti-intellectuals. And that, unfortunately, for the Republicans, when you read this autopsy report, when you take a 97-page report that they paid for, they had the, they had their consultants look at it and they said, guys, we are in big, big trouble because we don't have anything in common with mainstream America right now. What, what, is, that, what is the thing that moved you most when you took a look at, uh, at the report? Well, the thing that moved me most was the fact that they actually acknowledged it. But then you have to realize that the people who wrote the report are all from the, the group that is trying to move them back towards a more moderate position or a less far right wing position. Uh, unrepresented on the group that wrote the report was the far right wing, the extreme right wing. But the acknowledgement of the reality of the party is that they have given up the uh, multiracial, multigenerational, uh, multicultural, they've given up the minorities, uh, they've given up, they've insulted women, uh, they've insulted people across the board and the fact of the matter is that uh, President Obama and the Democratic Party have moved in exactly the opposite direction and they've built a very, very strong uh, political progressive coalition with all those people. And the, it, it's, it's youth versus age is the biggest single factor because the young people are completely lining up with the progressives. Howard, in 30 seconds, do you agree the next national elections are going to be dismal for the Republicans, no matter what they do with this report? The next national elections will be dismal because the progressives have two things going for them. The Obama machine and the Clinton machine will be combined in the next election. They'll continue to, with their grassroots mobilization, which they've done so brilliantly, they continue to call for economic equality. And I think, frankly, that in the next election, the way they uh, rallied around the first African-American president in the last two elections, I think that they'll be rallying around the first woman as president of the United States in the next election. That's going to fire the base.